Welcome to the lesson 2 of Empowerment Technology. Have you witnessed cyberbullying on social media? When can you say that the person is being cyberbullied? As a responsible netizen, what is your role in helping the person who is being cyberbullied? There is no doubt that you need to be vigilant online. As the World Wide Web evolved over the years, many internet predators have been playing on vulnerabilities to attack computers and retrieve sensitive data from individuals. Half the time, we aren't even aware it is happening until it is too late. Here are the different kinds of online threats. Online threat is deemed any malicious app that attempts to gain access to a computer network without authorization or permission from the owners. These are usually done by computer hackers who uses the World Wide Web to facilitate cybercrime. Web threats use multiple types of malware and fraud, all of which utilize HTTP or HTTPS protocols, but may also employ other protocols and components such as links in email or instant messaging apps or any malware attachments on servers that access the web. They benefit cybercriminals by stealing information for subsequent sale and help absorb infected pieces into botnets. Web threats pose a broad range of risks including financial damages, identity theft, loss of confidential information or data, theft of network resources, damaged brand personal reputation, and erosion of consumer confidence in e-commerce and online banking. The following are the top kinds of online threats that you should be aware of. Phishing. This happens when an email is sent from an internet criminal disguised as an email from a legitimate, trustworthy source. The message is meant to lure you into revealing sensitive or confidential information. Farming happens when a hacker or farmer directs an internet use to a fake website instead of a legitimate one. These spoofed sites can capture a victim's confidential information, including usernames, passwords, and credit card data, or install malware on their computer. Farmers usually focus on websites in the financial sector, including banks, online payment, platforms, or other e-commerce destinations. Internet scam generally refers to someone using internet services or software to defraud or take advantage of victims, typically for financial gain. Online scams may come in various forms such as lottery scam, charity fraud scams, job offer scams, and online dating scams to name a few. Internet robots are also known as spiders, crawlers, and web bots. It is a software application that is programmed to do certain tasks. Bots are automated, which means they run according to their instructions without a human user. Some bots are useful, such as search engine bots that index content for search or customer service bots that help users. Other bots are bad and are programmed to break into user accounts, scan the web for contact information, for sending spam, or perform other malicious activities. If it is connected to the internet, a bot will have an associated IP address. Malware or malicious software is any program or file that is harmful to a computer user. Here are the most common offenders in the rogues gallery of malware. Adware or advertising supported software is an unwanted software designed to throw advertisements up on your screen. Example is pop-up ads and banner ads. Spyware is malware that secretly observes the computer user's activities without permission and reports it to the software's author. Example is a key logger. Virus and worms are malwares that attach to other program and when executed unintentionally by the user, replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and infecting them with its own bits of code. Trojan or Trojan horse is one of the most dangerous malware types. It is used when it represents itself as something useful in order to trick you. Once it's in your system, the attackers behind the Trojan gain unauthorized access to the affected computer. From there, Trojans can be used to steal financial information or install threats like viruses or ransomware. Ransomware is a form of malware that locks you out of your device and or encrypts your files then forces you to pay a ransom to get them back. Spams are unsolicited emails, instant messages coming from recipients that are not granted verifiable permission for the message to be sent. Spam messages can be damaging if you open or respond to it. Cyberstalking refers to the use of the internet or other electronic device to harass or stalk individuals or organizations. It may include false accusations, defamation, slander, and libel. It may also include monitoring, identity theft, threats, vandalism, solicitation for sex, or gathering information that may be used to threaten, embarrass, or harass. 
Cyberbullying refers to the act of tormenting, harassing, or embarrassing another person using Cyberbullying is when someone, typically a teenager, bullies or harasses others on the internet and in other digital spaces, particularly on social media sites. Harmful bullying behavior can include posing rumors, threats, sexual remarks, or victims' personal information. Or pejoratively, bullying or harassment can be identified by repeated behavior and an and intent to harm. Spoofing happens when someone or something pretends to be something else to gain our confidence, get access to our systems, steal data, steal money, or spread malware. In the context of information security, and especially network security, a spoofing attack is a situation in which a person or program successfully identifies as another by falsifying data to gain an illegitimate advantage. Being online and dealing with different people is similar with how you deal with people offline. You should take extra precautions, especially with those you are not familiar with. Follow ethical standards to have a harmonious web relationship with others. See you in our next lesson!